It's full speed ahead for Juno, the spacecraft named after the Roman goddess, the sister and wife of Jupiter, who could see through clouds. This Juno is expected to dip under Jupiter's clouds when it gets to within 3,000 miles of what some call the biggest, baddest planet there is. These images from the Hubble telescope tracking bright auroras. I am so excited um, to finally get to Jupiter. Um, getting into orbit and we're really going to start, you know, the main thrust of our mission. Which is to study how the monster of our solar system was formed. Juno was constructed over five years ago as the first fully solar powered spacecraft in the agency. Vehicle body rates look good. Launched in August of 2011, it's about to orbit Jupiter, but like navigating LA. It was kind of a circuitous route to get there. We couldn't go direct. We didn't have a big enough launch vehicle that could just send us straight to Jupiter. So we did a little road trip around the inner solar system. In other words, they brought the craft back under the Earth and gave a kind of a gravitational kick in the craft to get it up there towards Jupiter. And on Monday, as Americans celebrate Independence Day, They'll fire the main engines. At 8.18 Monday night, the engine burns for 35 minutes to slow the spacecraft down. And by 8.53, scientists here expect to get a confirmation that the burn is completed, that Juno is in orbit around Jupiter. And if all goes as planned, Everyone's just going to jump up and be really excited about it. I think you will see uh, the room get very excited and, and happy at that point. Yeah, we've certainly seen that sort of thing before when the rover landed on Mars and, and ends the missions like that. In this case, after uh, Juno gets into Jupiter's orbit, they'll orbit for 37 times. That'll take a matter of days, and each time, Juno will be sending back pictures and data and all kinds of information that the scientists back here will use to try to determine the origins of the solar system. We're live at JPL. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.